Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, in today's episode, we're talking about Aspiration Bank and their zero credit card, right? And it's that's actually the name of not calling it a zero out of the gate. So in typical fashion here, we will talk about Aspiration as a company. We'll cover how the card works because it is a little bit different, so it could be interesting. Of course, we'll talk about the earnings, the rewards, the card itself, and come out on the other end of this, figuring out who exactly the zero card is for. So if that sounds interesting to you, of course, go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, when it comes to it, I'll tell you right off the jump here, this card is not going to be for everyone. This is going to be like a very niche, very targeted product, but it's still an interesting take on credit cards. And, you know, I do enjoy looking at interesting takes and different spins on credit card products. So that's kind of what we're taking a look at it. So just keep that in mind as we work through this. So with that disclaimer aside, let's take a look at Aspiration as a company themselves. So Aspiration Inc. founded way back in 2013. I believe they began operations in 2015. So they've raised about $250 million in funding as of 2020. So a little bit dated of a figure, but still a lot of money by any means. They are backed by a lot of celebrities as well. So Hollywood types, things like that. Um, they do donate 10% of every dollar customers choose to pay to them to charity. Their overall mission is to plant 125 million trees by 2030. You'll see that reflected in this credit card as we go. And as a result, their financial products are focused on offsetting the carbon footprint. So, you know, they have a lot of partnerships with reforestation um, organizations. They have a consciousness coalition, which basically can show you in app if you're, you know, already a, a customer, you know, hey, if you're going to this store, what are you buying from this store? You know, what it what it does to the carbon footprint in the planet. Then they have the aspiration impact measurement, which actually takes, you know, your spending based off your debit or credit card and says, hey, based on what you're buying, this is actually what you're doing or contributing to the planet, positive or negative. And so there you have it. With that, I think we can get the full feel of aspiration, right? I would describe them as if Captain Planet and the Planeteers were around this day and still on air, this would be the bank that they bank with, which is not a knock against them. That's just kind of their target demo, and everyone has a target demo. So with that, you know, it is interesting. I've had a checking account with them before for a sign-up bonus, of course. You know, and they're one of those companies that they kind of show you or give you the option to, you know, you can pay however much you think you should pay for. And then again, they donate to the charity. So that's kind of where they're at right now. So again, we talked about their reforestation deal. So we'll talk about this, then we'll go into their earnings and rewards and the cards themselves. It'll flow pretty nicely. So if you take a look at this, planting trees, again, that's their goal, 125 million trees. They're working with reforestation organizations around the globe. So basically one purchase equals one tree planted, right? So it's not necessarily the dollar amount that they're looking at, but one purchase is going to equal one tree planted. The goal here, again, to plant trees to help offset that carbon footprint, get to carbon zero, hence the name of the credit card, zero card. So with that now, we take a look at the earnings and rewards. So this is a cashback card. However, the redemptions here are going to be one, a statement credit, or two, donate to plant more trees. So again, you get the theme here, right? We're going, there's a financial product to help them hit their goal of 125 million trees planted. So there's no merchandise. There's no cash getting out to bank accounts. They do have, again, I said, you know, they do have a bank account, right? I had it at one point for a sign-up bonus, believe it or not. So I had an aspiration debit card, but I mean, I can close it when they paid me out because I'm not a, apparently a lover of the planet. Shame on me. But anyways, you can see there, you've got basically two cash out options. And that, of course, plays nicely into the card itself. So now let's take a look at the Aspiration Zero card and see what we're working with. So here we have it, Zero card. Now, overall, it is a nice looking card. I know I really do like the design, plan in the middle, zero, MasterCard looks like World Elite. Um, so no, the annual fee actually is 60 bucks, believe it or not. Uh, multipliers are going to be half a point on all purchases. However, you can get upgraded to 1x back when you reach carbon zero each month. Again, hence the zero card. So with that, how do you get to carbon zero? What does that mean? Well, again, we covered it. Aspiration plants one tree for every purchase. Um, so hitting carbon zero each month. So you have to do it monthly unlocks, you know, 1x earnings. But carbon zero is defined as 60 trees planted a month. So how do they back into this number? Um, so it looks like they're calculating using third-party data for the size of your carbon footprint along with the effectiveness of the trees planted, right? So um, they don't really give too much more on the formula than that. I think you get more if you signed up for it, but 
again into first pass that's kind of what they're doing so this is assessed monthly so i take that to mean that the 60 tree number could move right depending on you know the data they get from your spending your carbon footprint and you know the tree's effectiveness right ideally i think if you plant more trees in a mass they would probably become more effective but again i'm not a planeteer so i don't know so on the average here we're talking about 30 60 um, purchases a month to hit carbon zero and that's counting if you use the roundup feature because again the roundup feature is going to move you up um you know to basically two trees per purchase so anywhere from 30 to 60 that could get you to carbon zero and that's going to get you one percent back so overall, that is how it works. Now, there are some notes here on the card itself. It does look like it would be metal. It is not metal. It's actually biodegradable, believe it or not, biodegradable plastic. But, you know, that's kind of what you would expect with these guys. And in addition to that, you know, another thing I've read with this card is like, hey, even if you're using a credit card, you could still be buying a ton of gas or stuff that's bad for the planet. Well, if you sign up, um, the app, from what I understand, will actually show that conscious coalition that we talked about in the beginning, where it kind of shows, hey, these are stores you might want to consider shopping at that are better for the planet. These are things you might want to buy to kind of help the sustainability all the way through. So overall, that's everything you need to know about the card itself. Now, you know, again, for my normal typical audience, clearly this probably isn't for them. We don't even need to go down the path of like, hey, there's better cards, right? Obviously, there's better cards for multipliers, right? This card is really for someone who's trying to make an impact, right? Again, I don't even know if the $60 annual fee is for on this card. There's no real benefits. The only thing I can think of is that back when I had their checking account, again, they give you a slider and you can basically choose how much you want to pay them. And, you know, they again, they, they send 10% of that to charity, right? So this is probably them just trying to make up, you know, and help support their operations, I guess. So it's almost like more than an annual fee. It's almost like a donation, in my opinion, right? Because I don't know what you're, what you're getting for the $60. I would assume it costs much more to plant a tree than just making one purchase that you would make on swipe fees or interest and things like that. That's, that's my guess, right? I don't know for sure. Now, overall, you know, a few things. One, I, th I think this is fine because, again, people, it, we can't really argue that, you know, hey, we're doing some damage to the planet and we should probably do something to fix it. So on one hand, I look at this, I'm like, hey, at least people stepped up and they're trying to do something and they're giving you a way to do something and help. You really have to care because, again, 60 bucks and you're missing out on a ton of rewards, you know, if you want to go this route. Of course, you're probably redeeming all your points to plant more trees, but it is admirable of nothing else. Overall, I'm not going to knock this one because, again, at least they're trying. It's admirable. So if you're into this, you understand that, yes, you're giving up and leaving a lot of rewards on the table to support this cause. Other thing I would simply take a look at before you sign up for this is, you know, what does it cost you on average to, to simply go donate to a reforestation company, right? There are, there's like usually local community events where you can literally go and donate your time to plant trees. You know, you can donate money and groups will plant trees. I don't know, I didn't look into a whole lot of them, but if you're considering that, that may be a better way to do your part if you want, if you feel obligated or feel the, the higher calling to do so and still be able to get other cards and earn, you know, more rewards, put more money in your your pocket but again i'm not, not gonna knock them but i thought it was worth taking a look at so anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one if you liked it drop me a thumbs up down below of course if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel so we're posting content just like this every monday wednesday and friday and of course right back here every sunday with all the news you can use in the week that wasn't credit and finance my question to you guys is, you know, let me know what you think about the zero card and aspiration as a whole as far as this initiative goes, you know, versus if you have any experience doing the donating to other reforestation companies or things like that, you know, have you looked into and kind of weighed what the difference is? You know, I would love to get your thoughts on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching and talk to you very soon in the next one.